Hello everyone! Today I will be doing a review on Sweet by Lolita Limpica. So, maybe you have known, um, but the fact that this cherry fragrance is not a new release, it was released in 2014, um, which was which is about five years ago, I think. So, for a five year old fragrance, it didn't get as much attention as it deserved. So today I want to do a spotlight on this fragrance. I've owned this fragrance for quite a while and I've used quite a lot of it looking at the dent, judging by the dent I've put on it. So this fragrance is actually the fragrance that initiates my search for cherry fragrances. I think this tells how great this cherry scent is. So this fragrance is all about the cherry uh, it's not a dark cherry, it's a sugared sweet tart cherry. It's nothing sexy like this lip gloss with the, you know, the sexy lips with the lip gloss. It's nothing sexy like that. Um, the lips here actually reminded me of another fragrance which also got cherry, which is, you know, the Prada Candy lip gloss that cherry but this cherry is quite different from that cherry this cherry is much more um, out front it's high pitched and it's more dense as compared to the cherry in Prada candy gloss the Prada candy gloss like I've reviewed in um, in a video before um, the Prada candy gloss is a very wet cherry like it's just you know, it, it, it's just taken out fresh from the icy sugared water. That, in, that cherry is kind of wet, I think, and also light, a little bit lighter. But this cherry is much more denser. It is nothing like being taken out from sugared water. This cherry is dense, but it's not dark. It, it, it never enters the dark territory like the La Petite Robe Noir does. No, it doesn't. It's nothing dark like that. It's still as bright, um, but it's a very bright and dense cherry, as in it's not deep in water. It's cherry with its cherry juices, and together with the cherry juices, you don't get overdose of tart, of overdose of sourness, because you get a little bit of sugar. And together with the sugar, you will get iris. That's the floral part of this fragrance, the iris here. The iris here actually makes this fragrance not candy-like. It makes it matured, like a grown-up version of candy. So, this is a cherry for a grown-up woman, I would say. Other than the dance cherry note together with the sugar, you have a little bit of iris that makes the fragrance a little bit floral and a little bit powdery but it's never a powdery scent or it's never a floral scent it is a true hardcore fruity gourmand scent still other than the iris note which adds to the powderiness of this fragrance um, it also contains the cocoa the cocoa powder um, i'm not really sure about how much of cocoa powder is is contained in here because it's not really that chocolatey you know maybe i think just maybe the cocoa powder adds a little bit of powderiness to tone down the sharp uh, the sharp edges of the dense cherry maybe that's the purpose of the cocoa so i think this cherry the sweet fragrance here sweet by lolita limpica it's very underrated um, it should be given a little bit more recognition by the community, by the fragrance community especially. Um, I think the cherry here is really like a trendsetter cherry for me. Um, I seldom get a lot of cherry note in fragrances. And if you ever get one, cherry would be a note in a flanker of a line. Other than the Le Petit Rope Noir, which features cherry as the center note of its line. But that cherry is not as youthful as this one. That is a very dark cherry. It is almost witch-like. 
it's like you know it's it's as it is like the Harry Potter version kind of cherry, but for me this this is no Harry Potter no dark cherry like that. Of course, it still has its charm, but it's not as dark as that. I think this would be like something like Alice in the Wonderland kind of cherry. Um, so it has a little bit of charm, but at the same time, it's not for kids. You know, it's for adults. So that's what Alice in the Wonderland that story gives the you know gives that feelings to me. You know, and so does this fragrance. So. Talk about the notes. The notes are cherry,、um, sugar, cocoa powder, iris, and at the base you have the cashmere and wood and some musk. And、um, I don't really get a lot of wood out of this, although my skin tends to pull out most of the most of the woodiness in most of the fragrances. But particularly in this one,、uh, I feel that cherry is the center of the show from the beginning until the last breath of this fragrance.、Um, I think this fragrance has a really good performance.、Um, I can totally get above eight hours of longevity out of this, and、um, at the far end of the longevity of this scent, you can actually get whiffs of it when you move around. So it's not like a skin scent.、Um, so I have I have so much more to say about this fragrance. I wish I wish that Lolita Lempika would come up with something more like this. Um, the most recent one out of、um, from the Lolita Limpica house would be, I think, would be the most recent one would be the Mont Premier. I think that's one,、uh, and another La what La La Lolita Land. Yes, Lolita Land.、Uh, I have that one too, and that is also a very good, a very good fragrance. It also lacks recognition from the community. I would do one one fragrance review on that soon. So, yeah, that's all for me. Um, if you have tried this fragrance, or if you have tried any of the Lolita and Pika fragrance, do let me know. Do comment down below if you have other cherry fragrances that you can recommend to me.、Um, I would like to hear your thoughts. And please subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Then, bye.